Hey guys, I'm back after like two damn months of making all of these figures from Marvel, and then I stopped. I made some horror monsters, as you can see in there. While there, only one DC guy. This Predator, a re and some of them are remakes of the first one that I made. But not the horror monsters. The only horror monster that I need to duplicate is Jason. Jason X. But yeah. All of these figures I have made in the past three months. I haven't got time to showcase them. The last showcase that I did was for the Venom showcase. But I redid three of the figures from Venom. I, I, the only ones I did not remake is Carnage and Syndrome. I won't explain why, but it's just that they didn't need to be remaked. They were already okay. But yeah, for the past months, I have made remakes, and then I redid some. Then I just made some one, and I haven't touched them since. And there is one here. That I just barely finished yesterday. And then I just decided to take a break. And make this video today. So without further ado. Let's get to it. First up is Thanos. Now you're probably asking. This is the, about the third time I have remade him. But I have not touched him ever since I finished remaking him. I sculpted on the armor. I finally got the neck area right here. To actually show his skin. And here, as a matter of fact, I filled in the arm with a little bit of clay. And this wasn't working out, so I just sculpted onto the arm what the gauntlet color was, and it made him. I mixed in some brown with the gold to make the brass color, the dark brass color of this. Anyways, my dad did. I asked my dad if he could. The way I made this had it look like that it was originally the hulk so if you want to know what it originally was and excuse my brother that that's him that's him playing fortnite right now but my dad took a dremel sanded the whole damn hair off of the hulk and i painted it and i didn't like it at first like how you saw in the venom showcase that was too dark of a purple but then i finally got it right and this time so yeah, this is the first big fig that I made, and the last, and the, and the second one that I finished. Anyway, so, anyway, so yeah, Wait, did you get the presents? Thanos. Next is a solo figure, and when I say solo, this is a solo, this is the thing. I put hella clay, this used to be dog shank from the Ninjago, I cut the head off, and then I filled in the chest with clay. To make it bulk up and then I sculpted it on the head and I did the same thing I filled it in with clay and put clay over that and then made the lines that you could see well you could barely see the lines I know he has a crack and the thing that pisses me off is he has a crack that little white crack yeah, on his uh, right here but I'm okay it looks like him and then his eyes yeah, I use orange and I mix it with just like a dot of brown. A little drop of brown. Make this color. And, uh, yeah. And you could tell this is a dog shank because of the feet color underneath. And this was my original Thanos, but then I realized I could have used the Hulk the whole to damn time. Oh, yeah. And I didn't, I'm not making any of the Fantastic Four minifigures because that movie was really just terrible. Like... Yeah, it was a terrible movie. And so, yeah. This is the only figure I'm making because it looks cool. Next up is our first horror monster, Freddy Cougar. And I try to make the head look kind of like the actual guy. So I can actually look like Freddy. And you can't see it. I know here. Oh, that just made it. That just made it worse. Why? But yeah, and then as you see on his claw, you're probably asking, 
Why did you do the a, for, a thumb claw? He does not have it in the damn movie. Well, it, it started looking like Wolverine more than him. And I was like, you know what, this isn't going to work out. And then I just cut one of the Wolverine claws and put it underneath. And that just made everything like ten times better. And I put, mixed this in with some black and metallic red to make the jacket look. The hat f is from a cowboy. And then these are, and then this is an actual first minifigure where it can move without any of the paint scratching off. So that's pretty good. Anyways, yeah. So Freddy, not gonna lie, I don't think they're making any more movies of him. Eh, but I could see that there's there there might be a reboot of him someday. Next up is Ultron from Avengers. I sculpted it on the chest piece, that's why you can see a little bit of blue. And it's completely out of focus. Yeah, yeah you can barely see the little red A on him. And then I just painted it a whole silver, painted the face, sculpted the face, not the arm, I glued the hand in. I made it double, leg, it double legs. To be like the real damn thing. Then I put clay on one leg. And you can tell which leg that is. It's the left leg. I put like clay on it. And it turned out good. Well, I'll try. This feet. wasn't the first version I made of him. So well, let's get I'll back to the first head. version I made. This is the first <laughs> version of Ultron. And forehead. this is not Lego. I, I found like a bigger... Lego, you cannot remove the arms, the legs, or anything. I don't even remember what this, what this company was called. Oh yeah, I bought metallic silver, painted the whole thing, and I sculpted the head on. After I drew, took the head out, took a half of, cut half of the head off, and then I took out the clay to make the eyes and the mouth. This is one of the, my favorite figures, and one of the favorite big figures that I have made. Oh yeah, that's Ultron. Next up, Leatherface, and then I'll get the chainsaw out of the way. But yeah, what is it? And he just misses missing an arm. I'm not gonna do this video over now. You can only have one take. But yeah, I made the face ugly to make it look ugly, like how it is in the movie. And then I put it on the apron, and, I, and then my brother was telling me. Why couldn't you use one of those Five Nights at Freddy Lego figures to put put a chest of that on it? And I was like, that was too huge and a little too fat. Because, well, Leatherface is fat in the movie, but it wasn't in the Leatherface movie 2017. So I represented off of that. You're probably asking, what is this? Well, it's a brick-built chainsaw. My brother actually made this. So I didn't build this. I, I was trying to build a chainsaw. Then I re remembered that my brother made one, and he, and we were just digging it out one day, trying Did to look for it. We were digging it out of a Lego drawer, and we found like... it. So yeah, that. So yeah, Leatherface. Damn it. Next up is Ghostface, and this is just a sword. I cut the top off, and then I cut a part of the handle. And this apron is not a Lego apron. I just cut it from uh, cardstock, cardstock, and then I painted it black, made it look like him. And this head was really hard to sculpt on because it's a regular Lego hoodie. I just cut it, it cut the two, the cut the front piece out of it, and then put clay in it, so it could look even to the real thing. And I know his eyes are not round, like how you could see barely. But let's see, here, let's see if I can get a focus clip. Yeah, like that. It, can, it was not supposed to look like that. So yeah, it was not originally supposed to look like this, and now I. I show you. I can show you Freddy's face finally. Yay! Whoa! Another stand-in for 
Same name. Next is Baldy. Uh, don't ask him. This was a really bad figure. Kind of. Well, the eyes are okay. It's just that his face should be more like that. Because his his eyebrows is is black, not red, and his mouth is red. It's supposed to be red, but I like it like this better. I know that some of the paint started to scrape off of the hand. Nothing can go in the nothing can remove get removed or placed into these hands anymore. After what I've done, oh my god, there's hair. So yeah, let me get this in the middle. Right, yeah. So yeah, like that. There is Baldi from Baldi's Basics, and there's plenty more where that came from. So yeah, Baldi's out, but I'm just gonna let you know this. This next figure was really hard to make, Pennywise. This does not look like Pennywise at all, but I really love this figure, because this is a sculpted hairpiece, but what's even better about it is it could come off. Well, here, I'm gonna pull this apart. What I did was actually sculpt onto it. I put a little bit of clay in the front so it could match the lengthness and then this little... Okay, so what this back piece used to be here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. And nope, I don't think I have this piece anywhere to be found right now. But it was a back piece. I had a dot right there. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. But yeah, it was one originally one of those pieces, and then I put, sculpted it on, and then I sculpted around the legs to be like Pennywise's uh, little things that go on his legs. Then the head, the hair, it's a good hair piece that could come off and on. It cannot. This is oh by the way, this is not a Lego head. You could tell that by the jaws and yeah, so not Lego. Just remember that. That head for is not Lego. Now. The next Lego figure and the most painful one that I had trouble making and the most one that hurt me, no. Pinhead. These are toothpicks that are sticking out of his head that I just hot glued on because hot glue seems to work on everything now. And so yeah, I made another apron this time I hit attach little pieces of the same of cardstock and it is pink that's why you can see pink in the picture and I had already had the white hands but I painted the head white and then I painted that weird mouth okay all these figures are good except for the face face I had an extra needle so I just decided to put it on the top of the Lego minifigure head and yeah that was a really hard figure to make, especially the detail and all the other things on the apron. But yeah, one of the best horror monsters that I have. Next up, Jason X from Jason. And you're probably asking, what is that sword? Well, here, let's see if I can find it first before I keep on recording. Okay, well, I can't find it, but if you remember the Ninjago Season 6 Pirate Swords, that's what it is. And I just cut around it, so, and then I cut the bottom part off. And then this chest is actually sculpted on, and so is the helmet. That was a pain in the ass. And you can see that there's a line in, between, in the middle of the helmet. That's because it was two separate pieces. And, yeah, that was really hard. He has black on one side right here, and that's why I put the black hand and black on here, silver, silver. Then, and then when I asked my friend, what is this? He's like, I told him it was Jason X, but it kind of di dies. He's supposed to be a robot in the movie, is what the guy I asked told me. So yeah, Jason. I made another one before this one. Next up, Jason. This is the first version of Jason. It's much better. I actually have a machete for this one. And then, okay, so the blue pants are good. And then 
sorry about my dad speaking. And yes. Jason's head. And then we're probably asking, why is this his dress coat? Well, actually, I was thinking of Poe Dameron, Dameron's jacket, thinking it was Jason's. I was 100% wrong. Okay. And that's not the color, but I'm okay with it. And, but all these horror monsters took about three, were in the two month making of all the other figures that are in this. So, yeah. And. Yeah, this was a good figure. And then, let's get on to the last three horror monsters before we move on to the rest of them. It's hard enough to make actual damn Lego size be like about that big. But, no, I had to make one this big. Saw. And this is going to be a double showcasing scene where I throw him and Chucky in the same thing. I know, they're the same damn size. My paint scratched off. I thought it was okay. It made a good texture. And then the knife. Yeah. I sculpted their hairs on, hair on the same. Their hair cannot be removed. But you're probably asking, what was it before I foresaw? Well, it was originally one of those weird Ninjago toys like that big. That were like that big. From like, but it was Kai, the Red Ninja, because I already used the because <laughs> I had two of them, that and Zane. I'm not gonna customize this skeleton one because we're using it right now for something. I'm not gonna tell you what that is, but yeah, this was it was both of them. I know they're about the same size in reality, but I felt like Sonny to be like that. That's actually one of my favorite figures, and Chucky's hair is one of my favorite hairs that I sculpted on you know that the orange goes on to the skin which is kind of weird I know that I said there were three horror monsters left and I just showed you two of them but this one I don't know if it counts as a horror monster predator now hold on I went to comic con back in November and what I did find at comic con was this predator but I'm not so sure if I should give it and I also found this alien my, these belong to my brother but this armor piece is I don't know what it is uh, predator but what I, one thing I did not want my predator to have was the damn helmet that was on the that was as this predator but yeah I'm barely learning how to sculpt so I couldn't sculpt on the back and so yeah these are just stamens Anyways, yeah, this guy was purple, but what I did here, I took a regular motorcycle helmet and just put clay around it until it got this shape, and I cut, I filled in the gap in the middle, and I carved this piece out, I grabbed clay, just dabbed it around, made the hair, that was a hard part and a pain, and I took one of those weird Ninjago season five armor pieces and just sculpted that on put dots on the sides to make like the skeletons that they wear and i i don't know why he has a metal hand and one brown hand it might look black in the picture but it's actually brown skin tone is about almost close to the skin tone as that so if i'm able to customize this one one day I would probably do that. So the next main figure is Michael Myers. And this was the easiest figure. Because all I need to do is paint blue everywhere. And then the black lines like the pockets and the other side pockets. And then I did nothing on the back. And what this used to be was Star Wars head. You probably know what head that's from. So yeah. But I decided if Jason gets his mask cut, I'm putting that as his head. And I put a knife, but then I just put the blood stains on it with metallic red. And yeah, that was in this face. Is that I, I this would be one of the t if I would make a t the next video that I'm thinking of making is a top ten video. He's gonna be included as one of the top five 
I just, I already know that. But yeah. That was the last of the figures. Psych uh, was not the last of the figure. Now we're going on to the Marvel figures. So here's Mystique. One of the worst figures. Yeah, it's not really bad. It's the first actual face that I actually love painting. And this hairpiece is custom. Okay, I can't take the hairpiece off. But yeah, I painted it and then I put it on there on the blue head that I painted. I painted the rest of the figure. Painted the blue hands. Painted that blue V thing. That's not supposed to be skin or this part. It's supposed to... Okay. So this suit. If you saw the ending of Apocalypse. This could... Have, this is the suit from the ending of Apocalypse. It looks nothing like the ending of Apocalypse. Which is okay. It's just a suit. I try to make it as best as I can. And this is not the white paint that I use on many figures' eyes now, because this one was a chalk paint, and it's really rough. But yeah, Mystique. Next, I have two versions of the same character. I have Groot, Baby Groot, and he is just a small ass saw. And then the next figure I have is Baby Groot in a pot. That one was hard. That that one right there. Hard as hell. It was hard. That's what she said. I don't even know why I said that. But screw that. But yeah. Baby Groot in a pot. Baby Groot. He's supposed to be when he gets out of the pot. He just... He's like this. Gets out. No. I'm, this thing cannot fit into here. Well, actually, I never tried. Yeah, it cannot fit into there. But yeah. Baby Groot in a pot. Baby Goop, and in his tree form. Oh, this white on his eyes is not the same paint as that white on that eyes. I ran out of that white paint, so I'm using that white paint from now on. Satin paint is actually a good paint. And satin paint, when I first heard of it, it sounded like Satan. I don't know why. But yeah, on to the next figure. Next figures that we have are actually two figures... First one, Iron Man. And you may have seen this in a past showcase, but yeah, I redone it. Done the whole thing over. Made the back pieces, sculpted it on the feet. It was good. Like, okay, good. And and then I may, took time made a helmet that was for him. Sorry, my sister just closed the door. And yeah, here's the original Tony Stark head. That was the first Tony Stark head that I have. That it had. And the reason why this is a two part thing. Is because. I made the Iron Monger. And you're probably asking. The Iron Monger's helmet looks the same as that. Well. Right now it just has. That guy. I'm still. I'm just trying to make. That one old guy. From Iron Man 1. But yeah. There's two. For two things. This is a brick built one. That I have made. And, um, I, remember, if you're a fan of my of some guy named Michael MGF, share the video with him. Because it's good. Oh, he does. I would like him to see this, make a video about it. And if you send a link to my channel to him, that would be good. And you, I would probably do a giveaway, and I will probably pick whoever done that first to be the first person to get that giveaway and uh look the, you could see shines in the background but yeah there we go two iron mans first film next up we have two other figures captain america his stealth suit or as you saw in the end game trailer his new suit for end game and you're probably asking what is that shield i made a here's what i did with it the original shield i took it pressed it down in clay Put hot glue in it, and then put a handle on it. It's, I don't know why it's brown. I couldn't find another color. But yeah, that's a custom shield made by me. Really hard to do. You could tell by the lines on there that it was hot glue. And then Captain America, when he went to go say Bucky, the face ruins it. I have to be honest. That is the ugliest face that I have seen that is to Chris Evans. Like, compared to Lego's face. 
This is a better head. I wish I had a spare for that. I, I'm still making Captain America from the first Avenger. How he was fighting Red Skull. I'm also making Red Skull still. And I'm waiting for a flash helmet to come from the mail. And then I could paint an actual face that looks like the looks like damn Chris Evans. And I just keep it, these binoculars on him and you could still see it. It's a kind of okay figure with the binoculars. Take it off, it ruins it. And um, what I actually did was get some cardboard, glued this piece on. But I made the shield first before I made this hot glue one. It isn't made out of cardboard. And it was a pretty intense process to do all the... But I just painted all those little dots on it. And then this is supposed to be the classic suit with the... And this is me. These this trench coat is made out of the same pink fabric that I did for Hell Ra Hellraiser's apron thing. I don't know. And yeah, so two blasts from the past. Next up is one of the figures that I will probably put in the as the top three: Bucky Barnes from Avengers: Infinity War. This gun is actually made out of two pieces. First, you need this gun. Which I don't know where you find. Then you need one of these pieces. Connect them right there. And you got yourself a Bucky Barnes gun. Then here's what I did. I just took normal black, black pants. Brown brown I mean. Then just painted on all the, every single little detail. With gloss. And then painted on the gloss. With, with gloss black paint. As the little lines. Is... New arm that Black Panther is heavily given. I know there's a piece of yellow right there, but it's okay. Nothing goes in that hand and nothing destroys the hand. And then made that little guard thing. That this is one of the best figures that I have made. And then same thing for the back. So yeah, there's Bucky Barnes. The Winter Soldier, White Wolf, whatever. I know it has Chris Pratt, the old Chris Pratt head. I know that there's a piece missing from the bottom of the black line on the mouth. I'm going to turn the head over because it does have two sides to the head. And there we go. Smiling Bucky Barnes. Still trying to get the new head from the, fin the Infinity War 4-pack. Next up, I made a figure from the trailer of Captain Marvel. This is... This, I, this, who, the person that inspired me was... They made a Lego Captain Marvel trailer. They made their own. And I thought, I could do better. And I did. So yeah. Silver. That weird turquoise blue. Aqua. And then... Navy blue. And then a yellow blonde hair. And that's how she sculpted. This was originally a Batman helmet. But then I sanded the absolute crap out of it. Took out the, took out the ear, bad ears, and then took out the nose. As you can see, in the Captain Marvel trailer, it kind of looked like I had a Batman nose. There's nothing there. I sanded the absolute crap out of it. So yeah, there's that figure that actually is good. The mouth kind of ruins it though, cause it doesn't. It looks nothing like Chris Urso. It, it looks nothing like. Brie Larson. Yeah. And uh, if you're wondering why I have paint on my hand. I'm working. I, I finished working on a figure. Not too long ago. Like a couple days ago. To make this showcase. So yeah. Next figure. The next two figures are either going to be in a pair. Or a pair of three. And this is the purse pair. Fur, pur, purse pair. Purse. Yeah. Purse pair of three. It's first pair of three. But the first drunch coat that I made, Star Lord, Gamora, and then this is just another one, Nebula. So yeah, I know this is nothing like Nebula's hand. This is from the Guardians one. I went to Comic Con to buy this figure. These two actually came in the Guardian in the new sets. I got a Jurassic World head, so yeah, good for me. And then I made just like how Michael M G F did, but I painted a gray thing, gray shirt. Underneath it, then Gamora. I tried to make her sword, didn't work. I painted. I tried to paint his guns, didn't work. I just scratched off all the paint to make it look normal, and it did look good. 
I should have done something with Gamora's pants, like what Michael MGF did. Make a belt that strips down and glued to the side. But yeah. Now, Nebula. This is inspired by Michael MGF. A lot. Just the torso piece. Just that torso. No, I can't come off. Just the damn torso piece. On the back, too. I thought it was a really cool figure that he made. So, I made my own. I know that hand is, just ruins it all. But, who cares? The pair of three. Now, moving on to the next pair of three. Next pair of three is actually the, the new Venoms. So, starting off with Anti-Venom. This is the second version of him. And this is the uh, this is the only head that I did. For the symbiotes that actually looks good. On the, and then, next, we have Riot. I did make a head like that for Venom, but it kept on breaking, and I tried to add teeth, and not make it just like that one where I just paint a mouth on, or just barely take out a little piece, and I put a little piece of clay. So I decided this is the head that I ended up going with. Just a normal minifigure head, like the Venom and the Carnage. Then Venom. Not gonna lie, I don't think I will put this as a top 10 of one of my figures, but... I didn't want to do this. I painted it all with craft paint. Then I just painted it on with... Then I did a lines with white. And then I painted it all with metallic black. So the figures could still have a shine to it. And you could see that shine right now. On the figure. The whole figure. So yeah. These are the third versions of these guys. Second, I don't even know why I bother. Two, next, of this guy's villain. And, yeah. Now, here is the new spy. Here, I'll just move this out of the way. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... This figure is going to be in one of the top ten. And what is going to be as one of the top ten of the figures that I said I would do. But, yeah, this was a really good figure to make. I got new paint, and then I realized, hey, metallic does not work for that color. For the figure. So, I just decided to paint it all bright red. And it worked. Mostly. It painted on the straps. The spider. I sculpted on the hat. That was hard. That's what she said. And yeah. So. The hands. Were just regular red hands. And they were good. Now. This figure. I found this. I dug. Oh. When I was saying when I dug up something. The other day. I also found this head. And I had to complete this figure. So what did I just do? I just grabbed this head and popped it on there. And something you should know is that you could see a bit of silver and red. That's supposed to be the web shooters of Spider-Man. Pretty sneaky to see where that was. And all the webbing was really hard to do. And then, actually here. If you see on the hand, I painted black. That's so it could be like the web shooters. Because this is for the new Far From Home movie. I have seen a black suit, but I'm not going to make that. Well, I might. It's supposed to be like that. It's like just this head, but with black new black suit. But I'm not so sure if I'm going to make it. And, but we'll see. Uh, I can always change my mind if I get another Spider-Man head, though. Like, from the new Spider-Man sets, I probably would get that. And, yeah. Now, the next figure is War Machine. This is actually the second version of him. You're probably asking, why is he on a minifigure stand? He has his back piece that I made. And, I do have... Now... As I said, I would find some stuff. If I would get some stuff, but first, I need to get something to show you. That was not... Like I was saying, that was not supposed to be the original torso. I was supposed to grab this one that I sculpted. And this is one of my first sculpted masterpieces. I'm probably going to sell this, though. Let's go hey, sell this. I don't know how much. But yeah, it's a jetpack. This was originally supposed to be the chest piece for War Machine. So, yeah, and the reason why is because, look, this is, his, he's, he's shooting out like a normal Iron Man figure. Can't even keep his balance on there, so. So, yeah, War Machine. I'm not going to make a second version of this. This is already the third version of this. Next is Meek. You're probably asking, what the hell is that gun? Well, it's Brickforge. So, look, I, I do not leave links below in the description whatsoever. But, yeah. 
no, the front might not look good, but the back of him, that was a masterpiece right there. And all the wires that I did everywhere, including on the legs. This leg doesn't have any. Yeah. And then the sculpted, custom sculpted head that I did for him. It was good. And one, one of my favorite figures. I don't know if it will make a top 10, maybe a top 20. I don't know. But yeah. So, next figure. And you're going to be remembering him. Now, I, I made this figure because I heard back in November, because I was not originally going to make this figure, but on November, the day after I got back from a Comic-Con, he died. He passed. So, yeah. This is mostly inspired by Michael MGF. The head isn't... It's based off of the inspired by the Lego Marvel games. Same thing for the hair. This guy passed, but the legacy he left, he left this earth and made it a better place. A really, really better place for everyone. And I know there will no, there will never be another person. Just like the great Stanley that was on this earth. Next up, you've probably seen the trailer of him of the new movie, Hellboy. This is the second version of Hellboy. I painted on the arms and then I gave him the gun. Even though that the paint does scrape off. But still, I gave him the gun. I sculpted on that arm. That, that ass-kicking looking arm. That actually looks good in the movie, and it is strong. There is going to be a, a reboot. I am not going to make that horn figure, because I was trying to make an alternative head for that, for this figure. It just kept on falling apart. I need Procreate to do that, like how Michael MGF uses, or any of the other custom Lego designers do. So, yeah. Oh, boy. Next up, the last movie, I think it was either 2005, 7, maybe 9, one of those three, Ghost Rider. And this is the first figure where I actually painted on the hands. This is, this is, looks nothing like the Ghost Rider face, but I, I was thinking, do I really want to make a skeleton that looks like that? I don't think so. But yeah. You can see the details on him. And then on his jacket. I would have made the spikes, but after what happened with this guy, it, it was just a disaster. But I couldn't see myself doing that. I couldn't see myself doing crap over again like that. But, yeah. The helmet. Okay, so this is a funny story. You're probably not going to laugh, but I found that head. I found that figure. No joke. I found it in the dirt, just sitting there. I picked it up, and then I just decided I could just do that. Make it new. And, yeah. I washed off the hair, the hair piece of the figure to make it look like that. It was hard. To actually, and then I thought that that helmet could come off, but it turns out it cannot come off, which is a real bummer about it, but it's okay. But that figure was really hard to make. I'm stalling because I'm fixing some stuff, some stuff right now, because why not? Anyways. I would just like to tell you, Stan Lee really did change a lot on Earth. I I know I'm repeating myself now, but what he did, I wanted to meet him. And I know a heck of people got to meet him. And they were like, oh my god, this is Stan Lee, I'm talking to the man. And if you see a movie, I don't know what it's called, but... There's this kid looking at the window, and then he's like, 
holy crap, you're Stan Lee, and then he's, and then, but actually, wait, he didn't, he didn't say his name, but he's like, holy, he was like, holy ass, you're, and then Stan Lee is just like, Stan Lee, nice to meet you. I would never forget that, what he did in that movie. It was cool. But the legacy that he did to make Marvel, he made so much. I'm not, oh, by the way, I am not going to be making any f more figures for a while. At least until after Christmas. Maybe some of the, actually, I only have one figure from the new Avengers movie that is coming out. You saw it in the trailer. You're not going to guess it. But yeah. Ghost Rider. Next up. You're probably going to be like this. It was unexpected that he was going to be in the trailer. You probably don't know who I'm talking about. You're probably thinking he wasn't even in the trailer at all. But. He was. Ronin Blade. The final figure I finished to, for this showcase. As you see. It's a regular old Loki head with a little bit of a dark wash. And the sword, I cut up the sword, put it on one of these things, put clay over it so it, the sword will stay there and put super glue too. The leather coat, and then here, wait. Let's see, oh, uh, this, it's, by the way, it is really hard to get the figure's legs if it's already sealed in like this. But for the hell of it, yeah, the painting is on all four sides of that, of the legs, and, yeah, because in that trailer, he was just turning around, and Natasha was behind him, he just pulls off the mask, turns around, Hawkeye, you probably weren't gonna guess who this guy was, but, yeah, Hawkeye, or as he goes by Ronin Blade now. I'm I'm curious to see what happened to him and to happen to his family because I think because he looked like he was sad and kind of pissed off at the same time in the trailer and I'm thinking his whole family wiped out by the snap and yeah now as you see all of the figures I've showcased from Thanos to Ronin Blade. I have finished. I know there is. I know I have hella more figures. But I've shown them in past showcases. And. Hold on. Wait. I'm, I, one thing that I have been working on. Because this is just a green background. On my bed. I just decided to put green. But what I'm working on right now. Is the Red Skull figure. You can see a headless figure. And new. And the old Captain America from Captain America the First Avenger. So yeah. I have worked throughout for 40 minutes now. It is finally time to wrap this up. Comment down. Think of what you thought about any of the figures. Should I do something with this customize and customize this Predator? Maybe to make that huge ass Predator from the new Predator movie? Or make another alien or make an alien so yeah whatever you think please do so yeah like subscribe comment share the video and i'll see you next time